Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are swatching my entire lipstick collection. Bullet lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, liquid lips, anything else we have, we are swatching everything. This is gonna be a long one, so grab a snack, get comfortable, and enjoy. Okay, so let's get into my lipsticks. I took out my lip liners and another container of more lip products, and we are just left with my bullet lipsticks right now, and I have three empty containers to see if I could possibly reorganize. I do like this. But I like to play around to see if we can kind of make this a little more accessible. Because, you know, sometimes I take one out and they all start falling because nothing's really keeping them up. So the fewer I have in a container, I feel like the less things will fall down, you know? Like, instead of, like, 50 dominoes are falling, there's only, like, five dominoes falling, if that makes any sense. So now, let's start. Let's pull out my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Oh, how was that for ASMR? It's so good. So we have the shade Nude Kate. Very warm tone. Warm tone, but still light. Then this is the shade, this Pillow Talk, yes. The classic Pillow Talk. This one is Kim KW. This one is my favorite. And then this one is Cover Star. So that is Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, let's just do all luxury in the first container. Let's see how much I have, first and foremost. Um, I have my YSL. These are not the candy glazes. These are this, they're Rouge Volepte. So I have the shades. These are all in French, I believe. Or, they're, no, they're just numbered. So 44. So this one is in 44. And I think these are delicious. Gorgeousness. So beautiful. So luxurious. Are you kidding? I just cannot. This one is in the shade 162. These two, actually, these first two that I swatched, they were sent to me. YSL sent me something and I could have passed out. And then this shade, this is one I bought myself a couple of years ago now. This is in 123. Very, very gorgeous. Very glossy. Beautiful. Honestly, they make your lips look so juicy. I really, really like them. And they are just a luxurious experience. Tom Ford, my one and only Tom Ford. I bought this at the last Sephora VIB sale because I am not very smart. This is in the shade Blush Nude. Am I happy I bought this? Oh my gosh, yes I am. I have been just so into lips lately and this Tom Ford lipstick is $60. Do you need to spend $60 on a good lipstick? Absolutely not. Will I purchase a $60 lipstick again? Most likely not. Um, I scratched the itch that I wanted scratched and I'm trying to Tom Ford lipstick and I'm very happy I did and I think that's good enough. <laughs> then we have two Gucci's. These are the like shine formulas too, the little skinny ones. This one is in Lynette Stone. Really, really love this. It's a little cool tone, brown shade. Love it. And then this one is Soft Sally Honey, beautiful pinky shade. Really, really like these. They do have that Gucci scent. That smells like rose. So, oops. Let's see. Um, I guess Natasha Denona. Yep, that'll fit. We have this shade from the I Need a Nude collection. This is in the shade Natasha. This is a very cool tone. Brownie pink. It's very nice. It's very, very good. And this one is in the shade Kala. Kala or Kala, I don't know. This one was from I Need a Rose collection. Now, I gravitate more to these um, these types of shades, something that leans a little pinker than like peachier, whether that be a pinky brown. I just like a, I just like a pink. I don't know if I'm going to like these containers in here, but we'll just, we'll keep trying. Let's do Lawless next. I have the shades Platinum and Daisy Girl. Platinum is, honestly, I am so obsessed with this shade. This is a concealer lip shade for me. It looks so good in the center of the lips in the middle of something a little deeper. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm on my concealer lip era, that is for sure. And then this one is Daisy Girl. She is a little pinkier, not as light. Very, very pretty. I really do like this formula. Then let's do Kosas. I have two from Kosas. This is the shade Fantasy Life. very very creamy pretty opaque too i feel like they're more opaque than the lawless ones but not saying that the lawless ones are bad and then this one is in sugar high 
Now, when it comes to the Kosas lipsticks, I had a hard time finding a shade that I thought I might like. First off, I picked off this one, and it's a little peachy for me. Oops. It's a little peachier, and then this one is a little bit more peaky peach. Um, don't know if I love the shades, but they are a really good formula. So if you find a shade that you like, oh, and another thing that drives me wild is the magnetic closure. I can't get them to like sit next to their buddy. They separate like that, and it kind of makes me a little crazy. Now let's do the Merit lipsticks. On this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. So let's. Let the swatch party begin. We have the shade 1990. Absolutely love the shade. It is like a 90s brown shade. Little cool tone. Well, maybe just a little neutral. Super beautiful. I love the sheerness. I love how comfortable it feels on the lips, but you still get quite a bit of pigment. They are not like the YSL ones where there is just a glossy shine with a little bit of color. These will give you more pigment than the YSL ones. And this packaging, like, come on come on this is the shade slip i do like slip a lot oh and i also just came out with the matte formula and i picked up one shade and it's on the way to me now so this is a little warmer and a little lighter than the shade 1990. then we have the shade tiger i believe this one's going to be a little warmer like a little red leaning but very much within that brown family you can see how they Kind of go together then this is the shade baby baby is going to be more pinky like cool tone mauve pink looks pretty deep on my hand keep in mind i'm a very i'm very very pale but this looks so good on the lips it does not pull as like purple leading that it does on my hand really really love it then we have millennial this is also a pinkier shade it is warmer than baby and it has a nice beautiful rosiness to it then we have aperitif aperitif yeah i think so and this is like the newer one it's like a red shade it's pretty new to me still i haven't had it that long and like what a nice way to wear a red it's more sheer and more comfortable it doesn't move around on your lips it doesn't slip and slide everywhere absolute stunner then we'll move on to my mac lipsticks now watching everybody on youtube like they grew up wearing mac i did not like i did not grow up with mac like who had mac makeup in high school are you serious come on get like get real so then this is the shade honey love very very beautiful neutral almost leaning a little warm and peachy this is a very good nude for my skin tone it's not too warm um but it's not something that's gonna like blank out my lips either oh creme de nude this one is one of my favorites another concealer lip type of lipsticks i just i'm telling you, i'm in my concealer lip era and i'm not looking back then we have velvet teddy now this one is one of those classic shades that everyone loves um i just don't know how i like it on myself cute and then my favorite one is blankety for sure this one is pretty darn cool toned pretty light also like another kind of concealer lip type doesn't really look like it would be that bright on um my from my hand swatch but once you have like your lip liner on and your base color this is so beautiful then from abh we have the shade praline this is my one and only abh lipstick kind of close to velvet teddy maybe just a hair a little like a hair deeper but pretty nice formula very solid oh i do have another luxurious lipstick this is like the balm yeah lip fetish divinal lip shine in the shade nude venus this one is not new to my collection this one is more like the ysl tom that we swatched earlier where it's that kind of like balmy juicy sheer lipstick another formula that i really really like but no one talks about is the urban decay shine lipsticks in the shade june gloom really love it I actually wore this one today to work very light shade this formula is very similar to the fenty slip shines i'll swatch that one next because it might be the same shade honestly who knows but i like how like i like the comfortability on this lipstick i like the shine on the lipstick and i love i really love the shade and then like i said we have the fenty beauty slip shine in the shade makeup break see how similar oh it's a bit more peachier than the one from urban decay this one's more pinky. This one is definitely more peachier. I have a marshmallow butter lippy from Kimchi Chic. The packaging, you just press the little button. Click. 
Um, and this is the shade Cafe Ule. This is a very beautiful light nude for my skin tone. Really like it. It is not a shine formula. It is more of a matte formula. Very, very comfortable. Then I have a rare beauty lipstick in the shade Worthy. I think, honest, I also think this was a hard range to find a color that I might like. This one is a matte formula, but very, very comfortable. The formula is great. Almost reminds me of Velvet Teddy from MAC, just not as um, rosy. It definitely has more of neutrality to it. Very, very pretty. I love the packaging. Then we got two of these Color Re Shines. I think they renamed these, possibly reformulated and possibly repackaged these. These are so old. We have Shimmering Peach. They're so old, but honestly, they're still so good. This one is a pretty light pink. This has more of an opaque look than the YSL ones, but I do find them to be pretty similar. Not a dupe, but pretty similar. And then this one's my favorite one. This one is Glossy Fawn. Beautiful. I have two O Face lipsticks from e.l.f. I have the shades No Doubt and the shade Dirty Pillows. This one is the Jennifer Coolidge collab. And I think this collection was absolutely stunning. Beautiful formula. This has a, like, um, this is not as matte as the rest of the O Face lipsticks do. You can kind of see the difference here. This one has a bit shine to it, and this one does not. Really good lipsticks from the drugstore. I love them. Lancome lipstick, and I don't think I've ever worn this, but this one came in a, like, PR. <clears throat> this one I got in PR from them, and I just, that's why I can't let it go. Because <laughs> it was such a lovely, lovely gift. And the shade is really, really nice, too. It's like a burnt red shade but it's not too deep i think this would be a great lipstick for the fall then i have the newer formula from makeup by mario in the shade midtown really 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 like this too originally he had his matte lipsticks and this is more of a cream shine lipsticks really love the shade it is a perfect nude shade for my pale skin tone love it really good formula I have a rare beauty dewy lip balm in the shade support these I thought were really nice too. Pretty opaque, honestly, for a lip balm. Has a lot of pigment to it. It's a really, really pretty shade and I'm going to keep it. Now, my favorite lipstick from the drugstore is this one. This is the shade Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. They're both the same shade, as you can see. Um, absolutely beautiful perfection. Look at that shade. It is stunning. I have two of the Scooby-Doo collection from Glamlight. Now, I do not. I do not really like these shades, but we'll go ahead and swatch. We have the shade Daphne. It is quite a, I, I would say this is bright. This is pretty bright for me. A bright pinky peach for my skin tone. But honestly, I had to have this whole collaboration because I was really obsessed, to be honest. Then we have Velma. This was more of a bricky, warm brown. Really, really lovely, but just like, I don't know, but I'm going to keep him. Then we have this lipstick from Juvia's Place in the shade Chic. I think this is from their like pink collection or line. I don't know. Super, super creamy. Like it applied with ease. Um, it's a little cool tone pink pinkier than I like but I love the formula and I just haven't found the right shade for me yet from Essence this is their Hydra matte lipstick and it really does feel like a hydrating lipstick somehow but it's still matte like there's it's not a satin at all and this is a really nice nice shade and it smells divine it smells like watermelon somehow so I do really like these another great affordable lipstick from Milani in the shade Tees I would love lighter shades in this line you can see that that is just a beautiful beautiful nude but i my preferences are like something like this blankety little lighter like this one from kimchi chic i like a lighter nude because i am pretty fair so i don't want to go it's pretty easy for my lip color to go pretty bold i have a rem beauty lipstick in the shade why not nope wine and dine now this one's pretty deep but such a lovely formula, and I don't have another 
lipstick shade in this color so i'm going to keep her around this was an absolute miss i should have read the description because this is a, the Re this is a revlon super lustrous lipstick in the shade skyline pink but i did not realize that this was a pearl lipstick so it looks a little metallic like let me see if i can swatch it right here so it's actually like a metallic lipstick and i just don't know if I like really jive with that. I'm gonna have to see if I can make this work. No, I don't really think I can. Should I just call it quits? Or should I just hold on? I have a mini makeup by Mario. This is his matte formula, the Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Sam. I think I got this in a set from Sephora. Really, really creamy, applies like a dream. I'm gonna keep it. I don't think I really gave given this a shot. A mini give beauty lipstick in the shade original recipe yeah so this is gwen's classic red beautiful beautiful so creamy it has a little bit of a sheen shine satinness to it a sheen shine satinness to it really like this i would definitely get a full size of her lipsticks looking at drugstore lipsticks in store and this one from maybelline is called pink sand and it is a cream lipstick but then I saw no indication again that this would be a little metallic. Like, you can see that that's pretty metallic looking, right? I just wanted a light, beautiful, nudie pink from the drugstore. And this is metallic. Like, I didn't sign up for that. But I just, I really, it's only, I've had it for a couple of days, so I'm... I'm going to keep it. Okay, so I don't like this layout at all. So I'm going to move everything back into this one container. Excellent. Okay, now I have I have another thought. I have a lot of these long clicky pens. I was thinking I could put them in here. Because I have some lipsticks that just will not stand up because they're way too tall. And then I can't shut the drawer. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, vibes. So like I said, I got sent the Ember Rose collection from She Glam. And I see... Okay. I have swatched these two. This is in the shade Passion. I think I really do like this one. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. It is so creamy. The shade is beautiful. I'm going to keep this one for sure. Then I have the shade Cherish You. This is a little bit more pinkier. Oh, and wait, mauvier. Very nice. I'm going to keep this one too. And then I have the shades Bliss. Haven't even opened her up yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So this one is the shade Bliss. This looks very warm tone. Not too warm though, actually. That looks nice. And then we have the shade My Beloved. This one looks pretty intense. So let's give this a swatch. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, vampy. Very vampy. Then we have about a million of these clicky pens. So many dang clicky pens. So let's go through. Okay, so let's do, since I have NYX mostly on top, we will swatch the NYX click. What is it? Okay, hold on. The NYX fat oil slick clicks. Okay, nope, I'm not doing it. Okay. So we have the shade. Let's see if I can find the shade. Fit, no filter needed. Very, very pretty. I do like the shade a lot. Then we have the shade Hits Different. Now this one is has so much shine to it. And this one has a little bit of glitter bits. Very, very pretty. We have the shade Going Viral. They sure did, didn't they? This one has, is less more sparkly than these two. 
very, very pretty. Then this one is Clout. This one is more of a say shine than metallic. And then we have the clear one in the shade Main Character. This one is pretty stunning. Very frosty. Then we'll do Elf because I only have this one. This is in the shade. Oh no. I can't even see the shade. This Honestly, I don't see a lot of pigment coming off on my hand, but on the lips, this is so beautiful, so juicy. Really, really like it. Oh, you can see the pigment. Really juicy, very shiny, love lush. Then we have Tarte, so we will do these two first. So I have the shades Honeysuckle and Orchid. So this one is Honeysuckle. Oh, this one is such a pretty color. This one is Orchid. Very pretty. Then we have the lip plump ones. We have White Peach. Very light shade, but very, very, very pretty. Then the sticker is gone, so I don't know. If you know, let me know. Oh, it's probably my favorite one, too. Then, oop, this one is like the one that came out with like a sparkle to it. I think this one is quite stunning. It's not like the NYX one where it's more icy white than that pink reflect. See what I mean? So this is the Tarte and that's the NYX. I do like this. I do like this one. On top of, on top of another lipstick, it's beautiful. And then we have Cherry Blossom. Wait, what was that clear shade? The clear one was Pearl Shimmer Glass. Then we have Cherry Blossom. Well, I probably should click that up a bit more. Very, very pretty, juicy pink. Have the She Glam ones, and these are just as good as all the rest. So we have the shade Sepia Kiss. Beautiful color. Mahogany Magic. This is a, they had really good shades, honestly. Mahogany Magic, really like that. Making me blush. A little bit more cool tone than the rest of the pinks that we have. And then we have Walk on the Beach. Ugh. Very lovely. I feel like all of, all of these formulas are really, really good. Just depends on the price point you want and the, the shades that you're looking for. Okay, then we have some like longer lipsticks that are just too tall to stand up. So let's go ahead and do that. We have this, what is this from Kosas? There, well, I don't know. It's not really giving me any information. Huh. Anyway, this is like, so they had their like main lipstick and then they had these, which are a little bit more glossy. This is in the shade Heat Wave. I like this formula a lot better than their lipstick formula. I just, I get, well, my preference is more usually on the, the juicy lip type of side and i like this shade way better than the other two lipstick shades that i have so i'll go ahead and put that one put that one here i have my makeup by mario moisture glows we have the shades mauve glow and bear glow oh they're so good really really love these these are the same kind of texture as the tarte um, well, mostly the Tarte and the She Glam ones. I feel like those are a little bit more goopy, but not in a bad way. They're just more a little goopy. And I have these Sephora lipsticks. These feel so cheap, but honestly, they are so good. So surprisingly good. And these are there. Of course, I don't think they're going to tell me. Oh, Sephora Rouge Lacquer. And this is in the shade L12. I think these are just numbers. It is a beautiful bright red shade. Get the hair off my hand. Look at that. Stunning. These are a very glossy, high shine formula, which is always my preference. Then we have the shade L22. Was this one my favorite? I think this one was my favorite. So as you can see, these are not as goopy as like these from Makeup by Mario. These are more like the Fenty Slip Shine, that Urban Decay from earlier. Just a very high shine, thin formula. Then we have the shade L24. This one might have been my favorite, actually. 
Yes, it's this one because, again, that concealer lip vibe. It is very light and pale, beautiful, perfect for the center of your lips. So good. Or if you're very, very fair, this could be a really good nude on you. Really like it. Then lastly, we have the shade L23. It's a bit warmer, peachier. Oh, yeah. You can see the different tones in all those three. Really love these. Next, I have two of the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipsticks. I have the shades Breathless and Orgasm. I don't know why I bought the shade Orgasm because I I just don't like the pink and gold flip. I think it's so overdone. I'm just so over it. But this is not a bad shade, honestly. The lipstick tube itself, it does look like there'd be like a gold sheen, but I don't really think so. It just looks like very pretty, kind of metallic, almost like the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm wand, but for your lips. And I think the color is really beautiful, um, but I would say my favorite is the shade Breathless. It is less kind of like metallic looking than that one super pretty very very balmy very juicy i just like this formula a lot from tower 28 we have their juice bomb in the shade mix Ugh. now this is pretty darn goopy you can see it goes on pretty heavy but it does look really really pretty and i like it and i'm going to keep not that i'm really decluttering in this video huh i have another one of these she glam things Le, this is in the shade high key this is i think from their, their permanent collection now actually this one is more matte i think the she glam ones that we swatched earlier yeah this is matte the other ones had a did they have a shine i don't remember i don't think so but that's a pretty pretty shade so i'm going to add that to the rest of the she glam pile over here they have this skinny lipstick from rem this is in the shade kiss me it's a little warm Actually, I keep saying that, but it turns out to not be that warm. I just think I'm just scared of a deep nude. But this is a very good formula. I really like the applicator. I think it's really cute. I just love the little space helmet she does. Next from Nude Sticks, and I think this one, yeah, Alana Davison. This is in the shade Send Nudes. It's like a little lip crayon. The sharpener is somewhere. Really, really pretty. Kind of not super goopy. Definitely not as goopy as the... Tower 28, but I think, honestly, this is so old. I don't think this is available. I think I can get rid of this. From NYX, we have their Filler Instinct in the shade Beach Casual. I've had, this is, this is crazy old. Crazy old. This is very similar to Makeup Break from Fenty. Um, maybe not the same formula exactly, but that kind of idea. I mean, a lot of these are very, very similar, but I really like this, and it's holding up. Doesn't smell weird, so shantae she stays then i have this from l'oreal um what is this exactly i don't think it's gonna tell me oh maybe it does this is the oh, this is color riche i feel like that's what they're all called all called um anyway this is in the shade 133 le wood nonchalant it is pretty deep but really pretty i'm gonna keep it i thought i might have gotten rid of it but keep then i have the classic black honey from clinique let's give this a swatch really beautiful very sheer just gives a beautiful wash of color do i wear these i really don't but i like to think i'm going to wear all of them one day then from color pop we have their glowing lip this is in the shade cockatoo i would love to be a fly on the wall at the table of Picking out shade names for this brand. You know what I mean? Very lovely formula. Very lovely. Then we have the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Close Off. Oh, this thing is a mess. Oh, okay. I feel like it's okay. It's a very pretty color, but I feel like it's just moving around in the tube. It does not feel secure. And I don't want it falling all over the place. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I would re like repurchase a new shade because I think that it's very lovely. Very good formula. Then we have a couple of lip balms. I have two from Laneige. We have pear and grapefruit. I don't want to tell you how old these are. But let me put one on. They still smell so good. I really like pear. I don't know if pear is still available. Honestly, I got this at like a Marshall's years ago and yeah it was a long time ago 
but these are so so nice and i love how the like, packaging is in cute colors like it a lot i have this dura lip plumper for night it's just a nourishing kind of like lip oil for nighttime but it also comes with the day plump and maximum plump and this one this one has some punch to it for a lip plumper that's for sure then i have from k skin their isle lip balm spf 30. this actually has a quiet amount of pigment to it so let me go ahead and swatch that for you oh she's a little thick you can see the pigment there but it can it can sheer out and it's really pretty and it's, i don't think i have another product with like spf in it for my lips so i'm definitely gonna keep that and use it this summer Ooh, this is new the tower 28 what are these lip softy and i have the shade dolce de leche and oh my gosh these are so sweet smelling but honestly i'm not upset by that one bit i'm not offended i think it smells incredible these are well this is the only one i have this is very very nice very hydrating very nourishing very cushiony on the lips a little not like super thick or anything i really really like it, it gives a beautiful shine and a little bit of pigment and i really like it Okay, I have two from LYS. I wonder if I could probably get rid of one. So we have their, these are their Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oils. We have the shade. We have the, oh, Fancy and OG. So let's give these a swatch. Kind of messy, isn't it? Oh, that's very bright. Don't know if I love it. And this one should be like a little clear. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the clear one and I'll get rid of this one. I just don't see myself wearing this bright coral shade the bronze glow shimmering oil from siate london honestly this looks really really pretty has some sparkle to it i know you can't really tell because my arm is already covered in sparkle but feels really nice so i'm gonna keep it um we i mean we all know summer fridays butter balm and i have the shade vanilla beige and this is very lovely and also very lovely is the squeeze me lip balm from elf i have the grape scent Oh, it smells like Kool-Aid and it's so good. Where is my little guy? Here he is. And then I have a super crazy lip plumper from the brand Plump It. This is snake venom in a bottle, but it it, it works. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. And then I have a moisturizing, a moisturizing lip balm from Sigma. This is like a pH changing one, I believe. Let's test that out. Yeah. Just don't know if this is my journey. I think I can let, let this go. I don't really like the pH changing on my skin tone. And then really quick, that was in this drawer too, the Dr. Dennis Gross Plump and Repair Lip Treatment. This is a painless lip plumper that does work. I really love her. Let's put it right there. Now I have an absurd amount of lip liners to go through. So I'm going to swatch them out. We'll probably just speed through this, I think. And yeah, enjoy. So these are the lip liners that I'm going to keep. It's still pretty packed nice and tight in there. These are the ones that I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so this drawer I think is done. I really do like the extra organizers in here. I wish I had more room for lip liners, but I probably could just get rid of some more now, couldn't I? But for content purposes, I like to have a variety of brands, so I hope you understand. Okay, so now let's move on to lip glosses. 
Okay, we are in the lip gloss drawer. I feel like she looks aesthetically pleasing. I kind of want to do something fun though and maybe go by brand. I'm sure I have a bunch of brands that I have just like one-offs from, but let's kind of organize them out, shall we? And I might kind of rearrange and see what I can do with the organization of this. So let me kind of pull things out and we'll take our organizers to put things in. So first, I thought it'd be kind of fun to kind of go through things that claim to be lip oils. Now let's start up here. We have the new e.l.f. Glow Reviver. Is that what this is called? Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I have the shade uh, Honey Tox, and these are very nice. They are for someone, actually. Very nice, not too thick, a little minty. Not too much color payoff, though. Just adds a little bit the slightest bit of tint, but really you're looking for the nourishment, the hydration from a lip oil. So I'm not upset that this doesn't have pigment. It just gives me the shine and nourishment. And I really, really love this. Then we have these two from Sigma. We have the shades tint and the shade all heart. So this is tint. This is all heart. Um, these are also super, super good. Again, just a tint. I feel like they're very hydrating, very nourishing. Really, really like these a lot. I do have a code with Sigma. It is Alexandria or Alex Elizabeth. I'll pop it on screen. I don't remember right now. It might be Alex Elizabeth. I think so. But then that you see that was a tint and that was all heart. A slight difference. But these are one of my favorite lip oils in my collection. Okay. So did you guys know that Estee Lauder makes other products other than just the Double Wear Foundation? This is their lip oil. This is their Pure Color Envy, even though this is just clear. It is their Nighttime Rescue Lip Oil Serum. This is the most lip oily lip oil I've ever tried. It is so nourishing. Look at that glossiness. This is a beautiful product to wear in the daytime because it is so glossy. Then we have the Kosas lip oil in the shade Exposed. You can see like the sparkle it has and it's a little iridescent. There's a lot of pink and a lot of green gold. This is not my favorite, but I don't hate it. It's just very glittery for a lip oil, but if you wear it more as a gloss, then I guess that's different. <laughs> Then from Catrice, we have their Gloss and Glow. This is in the shade Casanova. It is a very beautiful orange shade, but again, it's a lip oil, so there's not going to be a whole lot of pigment. These are also very, very nice, very glossy, high shine. But I would say the Catrice ones do feel more like a lip gloss. Um, I mean, you, if you hold anything against that Estee Lauder one, like nothing's going to feel like a lip oil compared to that. But this one definitely feels more of a gloss than a lip oil. But then we have this Milani one. Now this, this is their fruit fetish. And this is the Blackberry Agave shade in the scent, for one. I have to smell it now. Is just divine. Just divine. And there's quite a bit of pigment here. This might be one of the most pigmented ones. This is so far the most pigmented one out of everything we swatched so far. The scent, the feeling on the lips. This is more lip oily than a lip gloss. I feel like that is something a brand is either hit or miss about. They claim something is a lip oil because it's trendy, but really it's just a lip gloss. This I, oops, this I feel is a true lip oil. So if that's something that you're looking for and you're looking for something at an affordable price, check these out my favorite is this one the blackberry agave the scent oh my gosh is so so lovely i can't get over it and the feel on the lips the color that you get from it perfect then i have this she glam one this is the ice queen plumping lip gloss oh this is not even a lip oil okay pick that out of the mix 
Moving on to this brand. I've never heard of it before. This is from Province Beauty. Um, for Christmas, my parents got me a little, like, trio, cute, super cute set. It came in a super cute tin for a holiday for Christmas. And it came with this lip oil and in the shade. Does it have a shade? I don't know if it has a shade. Um, but the flavor, it seems to be pomegranate, apricot, oil, and plum oil. Maybe those are the ingredients. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's give this a swatch. Look at the pigment on this. And this, too, feels like an oil rather than a gloss. Really, really lovely. Really, really shocked how much I loved this. It is so beautiful. You can see how it's kind of separating because it is more of a lip oil. But on the lips, it doesn't, like, sit like this. It's really, 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 really good. Never heard of them? I thought I saw them on Ulta, but I could be wrong. But they're more of a skincare brand. And lastly, we have these two from Mar I have the shades Marrakesh and Taupe. There are their Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oils. So this one is Marrakesh. These are going to have more pigment as well. And I really love these. And then the shade is Taupe. Taupe is my favorite. Very, very beautiful. Really really love them first brand we will tackle will be nyx i have a lot of nyx glosses so let's kind of separate them by by what they are. they're rolling away i don't think they're in frame anymore okay so let's start with their OG butter glasses. They're tried and true. They're classic butter glasses. And of course, we have the shade Fortune Cookie. This is might be like the most popular shade. Beautiful, pretty, not super milky, but pretty opaque gloss. Really like it. Perfect center type of gloss shade. And then we have this. This is in the shade Licorice, I believe. Yes. Now this is very opaque for a lip, lip gloss that's black. I mean, look at that. This is such a vibe. I mean, this is so much fun. I really, really like it. Then we have two of their This Is Milky glosses. We have the shade Milk It Pink. So let's give it a swatch. I, ooh, why did it look like that? Did I type it in the black? I don't know. Did I touch the black? I can't tell. Okay, but this is a very nice milky pink. Let me try swatching it again. There we go. I must have like dipped it in something. I don't know. Could be mixing on something with my hand. But I love a milky gloss. I love a milky pink gloss. And I love this one from NYX. I think NYX really kills it with their lip category. Then we have the shade Milk and Honey. So kind of like fortune cookie, just less pink. Very, very nice. We have their fat oil lip drips. Now, I do not think these are a lip oil. These are definitely more of a gloss. Ooh, that was... Did you... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not very appealing. Now, they are a thin lip gloss, but still not a lip oil in my opinion at least. This is the shade Supermodel. Then this one is in the shade Follow Back. Just a warm tint to the lips. It's really, really pretty. Has some glitter particles. Then this is the shade Newsfeed. I think they just recently sent this to me. I don't, once again, I don't know if it was NYX or if it was through TikTok. You can see how like it's pulling out and it's kind of goopy. And this one is new, so it's not like these are old and they're gooping up, but that is the shade Newsfeed. Really, really beautiful. Then we have their Duck Plumps, and I have four of these. So first we have Nude Swings. Now these are pretty tingly on the lip. What makes these different from your regular lip plumper is how opaque these are. Like, I've never seen a lip plumper that is so opaque. This is such a beautiful shade. Now, these do tingle. I don't think they necessarily hurt. I am like a chronic lick lipper, though. L what did I just say? I'm a chronic lip licker. <laughs> so I can't stand the way a plumper feels on my tongue. But it happens no matter what. Because that's what I do. This one is Mob It Out of the... Mob Out of My Way. 
how dare I say it? Do you say mauve or mauve? Mauve out of my way? Mo mauve out of my way? I don't know. I say mauve. Maybe I should start saying mauve. What do you guys think? <laughs> very, very pretty still. Then this is more like a clear. This is in clearly spicy. So let's see. Yeah, this is just a clear shade. So if you didn't want an opaque lip plumper, you can get a clear shade. Then this is another beautiful nude. This one is Bangin' Bear. Oh, look at that color. That is so pretty. Move on to another brand that I have quite the collection of. We have Miss Fenty Beauty. So, let's just go in the order of which they fell. This one is Hot Chocolate Fantasy. This one is somewhat new to me. I believe I got it in the fall of last year. I just could not stop looking at the tube. It is so gorgeous. So beautiful. A brownie nude, like a brownie base with beautiful pink sparkle. I just could not get the shade out of my head and I needed it. So, obviously, bought her. Lover, love Fenty glosses. Then we have Diamond Milk, that icy, sparkly white. Now some of these are pretty gold. I feel like Diamond Milk, Fussy, and obviously the OG. They are so old in my collection, but I just cannot seem to part with them. Look at Diamond Milk. Oh my gosh. Then we have Fenty Glow. You guys, this is from when they launched. But it still smells fine. Still smells fine. Doesn't taste weird. <laughs> but when did Fenty launch? Oh, such a long time ago. Then we have one of their heats. This is in the shade Glass Slipper. I bought one of their trios that came out for the holiday that had this one in it. Little lip plumper moment from Fenty. Then we have the cream formula in the shade Fenty Glow. Wow, I don't think I've ever put this one on though. Actually, I probably this is probably the first time I opened it. Hmm, it's a little pinkier than the original. Or is this it's because mine's old? Let me know. Is mine just super old that it's a little discolored and it was a little bit more pinkier? I don't think so. I think this is still true to color. That looks a little pinky. Then we have the shade Pink Dragonfly. I don't know if this is a permanent color. This one came in that trio. And I don't, oops, I'm just glued out. Oh, look how beautiful that is. So pretty. This one's a little like, not like metallic, but a little sparkly in the tube too. It's so pretty. Then we have Fussy. And just an old gal. Pretty similar to that pink dragonfly, just not as deep. It's a little lighter. And then we have Fenty Heat in the shade Hot Cherry. So these are the Fenty glosses. Then we have another hefty brand. We have Kaleidos. I got sent the entire gloss collection and i am truly obsessed with these so what are these called these are their untamed glow glossy lip glaze so let's go ahead and start swatching this one's in the shade elixir i think these shades that they came out with are so not all of them are unique but just a little bit different than what you see from like the everyday mainstream brands this one is so pretty kind of looks like Maybe a more pinky version of Fenty Glow. Then we have pink. Pink, what is that? Pink Marquise, my bad. Well, look at that. I feel you don't see the glosses like this every day. Like if they're making a pink gloss, they're making like a bubblegum pink gloss. Not necessarily like a mauve deeper. Oh my God. Then we have my favorite, which is Free Fall. This is that beautiful gray base with sparkle in it. Like, it's a clear gray. It's like, it's not quite clear, but it's not fully gray. It's just a very sheer gray with 
so much sparkle in it and it's so beautiful then we have last smoke this one i feel like it's super unique too it's just a gray taupe mauve purpley i'm really bad at describing colors i apologize super unique and the packaging on these is just insane then we have skinny dip this one might be more everyday friendly because it's pretty darn neutral then this one is fun this one is penthouse oh my gosh i just get so excited when i swatch my makeup and then this one is hot pursuit oh my gosh just just so beautiful i love this brand so much they are so creative and innovative i just am so obsessed so obsessed now let's do essence i have two of the same clear shade so i'm gonna put this this one doesn't look used this one definitely does i'm gonna put this in like a backup drawer get it out of the collection don't need to be taking up that much space i think i might combine these with the kaleidos they're extreme shine volume lip glosses i don't really find these to be plumping i don't feel anything when i put them on so first we have crystal clear your just basic clear shade but i feel like essence essence glosses are so good you get a lot of shine from these they're very comfortable and then we have the shade summer punch has a pink tint to it very very pretty and then this one is my favorite this one is in the shade flower blossom excuse me i am burping i'm drinking a bubbly excuse me this one is just beautiful milky light pink pale pink everything what my glossy dreams are made of so obsessed with it have tower 28 i had so many of these and then i finally decluttered this uh, the ones that are super super old so first we have their clear shade in the shade chill how many clear glosses does a girl need i'm not judging and then we have the shade sesame now i really like these these are very thin i don't find them to be goopy at all oh that's such a beautiful shade like this is one of my favorite gloss formulas and then this one is in pistachio and then this one is cashew yes Ugh, this one's a little warmer than the rest not a little a lot warmer than the rest i have two gloss shots from kaja beauty we have milk tea i think these are so stunning as well they're a little milky, which is my preference. I love a milky gloss. And I think these are so comfortable. They're not goopy. They're not sticky. And I think this, the shades are really lovely. And then we have Rosy Mocha, right? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful taupey shade. I really love these. Let's do Revolution. I got these in PR. Um, don't think I've used them on the lips. Um, we have Out Out Red and Glitz Nude. Well, I think these are stupid names. <laughs> They're super cool and swirly, but there's a lot of glitter running throughout them. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. These seem like they're going to be pretty sticky just from the way it's applying on my hand. But I haven't put them on the lips yet. Don't want to judge too early. Really opaque. So that was Out Out Red. This is Glitz Nude. This is a little bit more subdued. Huh, weird because that red one was so punchy. Well, I guess this one is supposed to be meant to be a nude, so I guess that makes sense. Then I have two of the lifter glasses from Maybelline. One is in the plump line. So first, this one is in amber. It's your regular. Oh, so pretty. Maybelline does lips really well, too. This is in the shade Blush Blaze. Oh, look at that. 
beautiful pink. I love a pink lip gloss. Then we have the Lancome Juicy Tubes. We have Spring Fling and Miracle. What an OG, what a throwback, even though I never had these in the back in the day. <laughs> so this was Spring Fling. Just your standard lip gloss in this silly little tube. Nothing glamorous about it. But I think it's a cool piece of makeup to have. And this one was, oh, she's pretty. This one is Miracle. So these are just kind of fun for me to have because they are such iconic products. Throw those next to the Fenty. Next we'll do Buxom. I have, again, another clear gloss. This is their plump shot though, so it's supposed to be plumping. Give this a swatch. I don't feel like this one is overly tingly. I feel like the duck plumps are more tingly than this, but it's very, very nice if you want a low key lip plumper. Then we have the shade full on, and this is what kind? What kind is this? They have several different lip glosses. They have several different lip glosses. Okay, this is their plumping lip polish in the shade. Oh, this is their full on plumping lip polish in the shade Princess. I think this color is so unique in my collection. It's a little metallic purple lavender moment. I think it's really, really cool. And a Buxom gloss is just a staple. They are OG classics. Then we have a full-on plumping lip cream in the shade Dolly. Ooh, that is stunning. And then lastly, we have another lip cream in the shade Pink Lady. So let's give this a swatch. Ooh, this is a bit milky. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's do Palladio. I think this one actually kind of reminds me of that Buxom one, so let's swatch it next to it. This is Icy Mauve. Oh yeah, look at that. That is like a straight up dupe, is it not? Pretty dang close. Then this one is super pretty. This is in the shade Facet, Facet, Fasa. I don't know, F-A-C-E-T, is that French? That's really rude. Oh my gosh, so pretty. These have a lot of sparkle to them. And then this one is ruby red. Oh yes. Very pinky though, actually, when it's all sheared out on the lips. Not as red as you would think. Let's go ahead and swatch the Scooby-Doo Velma and Daphne lip glosses. So this one, obviously, is Velma. Very sparkly lip glosses. And then this is Daphne. Oh, yeah. So pretty and sparkly. I love glitter. Then from She Glam, I have part of the Ember Rose collection. So I think... We'll go ahead and we'll swatch Unconditional. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Everlasting. Ooh, look at this. This is going to be vampy. Oh, yeah. That's fun. And then we have Treasure. This looks another, like a, another vampy shade. Oh, deeper mauve shade. Is it a mob to you? What would you, you call that? Wow. These are very, very shiny, very glossy. Well, I guess this could have been lumped in the rest of the chic lamp. So we'll just go ahead and do that. This is the Ice Queen Plumping Lip Gloss. Honestly, I like the way this looks. I like the way it feels. The scent, the taste feels... The scent and the taste just reminds me of a Listerine strip. And I don't love it, but... I'm going to keep it. Then we have Patrick Ta. We have their Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade. She's expensive. And she is a beautiful gloss. The packaging is exquisite. It's pretty sheer and clear, but lots of sparkle throughout. And I think it is 
very lovely. From Catrice, we have their Marvelicious Liquid Lip Balm in the shade. Swirl it, don't shake it. You got it. To me, this still feels like a gloss rather than a liquid lip balm. The Rare Beauty Liquid Lip Balm definitely feels like a liquid lip balm. Let's go ahead and swatch that next. This one is in nearly neutral, yes. Now this feels plush, it feels cushiony, and the Catrice one feels like a gloss rather than a liquid lip balm. Then from Physicians Formula, we have their Diamond Plumper Minimal Wear Lip Plumper in the shade Light Pink Princess Cut. That's a terrible name, but okay. But this is a very pretty gloss. I've heard people compare this line of glosses from Physicians Formula to the Dior Lip Oils. Let me know if you have that experience, if you've tried them both. Very beautiful gloss. I really do like this one. From Rowan, we have the, I think this is another liquid lip balm. Yes, this is another liquid lip balm. This is in the shade Charlie. Now, this is so special. Very pillowy, cushiony. So lovely on the lips. A beautiful amount of pigment. It looks so good. This is like a throw in your purse type of lip product. Very similar to the Rare Beauty. I just like the shade Charlie a little better than the Rare Beauty one. From Milk Makeup, we have their Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss in the shade Voyage. This is such a beautiful color. It is different from anything else that I really have in my collection. It's like a deep purple. It looks so vampy on the lips. It looks really cool. Pair this with like a winged liner, like a extreme wing liner. It just looks super cool. This is a perfect description. Lip oil gloss. I think that's really nailing it right there. And I really love this formula. From Say, we have their glossy bounce in the shade Dip. Let's see where I don't have lip gloss right here. Very beautiful, thin, non-sticky formula. I do like this color a lot. Really, really good. From About Face, I have one of their lip glosses in the shade Please Obey. This is oh, their Light Lock Lip Gloss. And it's really different because it looks very opaque and very metallic. Let me know if you've tried these and have a different shade than I do. And if you really love it, please let me know. Because it can be a gamble sometimes shopping online. I would be into picking up another shade just because I sometimes it's like trying out a new foundation when it's too light for you. You don't know how you feel because the shade's so wrong. That's kind of how I feel about this. I just don't know if this is like right for me. Maybe it's just because it's metallic. Maybe that's my problem. Then from Too Faced, the Lip Injection Maximum Plump in the shade. In the shade. Oh, is this the original? Probably. Okay. Okay. Um, extra strength, instant, and long-term lip plumper. I don't really feel like any of these lip plumpers are long-term. But this actually gives some beautiful sheer pink glossiness. I'm going to put that on my lips, actually. Moving on, we have from Kimchi Chic, the Gloss Over Gloss. Is that what this is? In the shade Chocolate Mousse. I feel like this is such a beautiful lip gloss i love the color i love the formula this is pretty different because it's very glittery i don't think it's metallic i just think it's packed with glitter and it's pretty opaque maybe it's metallic but it's just a beautiful color then from give beauty we have the bubble pop electric lip gloss in the shade sweet tooth now if you don't like a thick if you do not like a thick lip gloss, then you won't like this gloss from Give. I don't mind it. It's pretty sticky. But it kind of does grip down onto your lips and last a bit longer. Of course, it's a lip product. It's a lip gloss. It's not going to stay long. But I really, really like the shade. And I love the opacity of this gloss. And the shine is very nice. So I really like it. But if you don't like a thick gloss, then this is not for you. Next, we have the Forget the Filler from Lawless. This is another plumping lip gloss. Like the applicator a lot. This one, I don't feel like it hurts at all. And I love the shine it gives. I am interested in their new, like, 
The one in like the sticks, like little gloss sticks. I'm very curious about those. Then from Juvia's Place, we have from their candy shop collection, we have their Neapolitan gloss. I think that's the shade. Yeah, the shade is Neapolitan. I just think the swirl is very visually ap appealing. I think they kind of copy the Givenchy lip balms. This is a beautiful shade, and I love this formula, and it's very comfortable on the lips. I like it. Then from e.l.f., we have from the Jennifer Coolidge collab, the lip gloss in the shade Swollen. It is a milky pink, so that means I automatically love it. It's pretty thick. It's thick. I don't think it's sticky, but like I, f I can feel it like pulling at my hand. It doesn't just glide on. Very nice, though. I really do really really love this gloss and then lastly we have from l'oreal the shade feathery fleur and i think this is a liquid lip balm and this i think is pretty spot on to what a liquid lip balm is it's very on par with the rare beauty and the rowan liquid lip balm really recommend this okay then this bottom drawer this is an awkward angle because it is the bottom drawer on the floor so let's go ahead and start so first we have the vinyl inks from maybelline we have the shade captivated i feel like i said that in a really weird way captivated beautiful nude beautiful nude now could these be considered a gloss i don't know you tell me and then this is in the shade punchy i really like the tones of these shades i think they're really nice then we have a nyx lingerie xxl in the shade naughty noir and this is your black liquid lipstick so fun from one size we have one of these little what are these called duo lips you have a matte lip on one side and then a gloss on the other and this is a beautiful red really like the formula on both of these i think the shades are stunning and i like how the gloss is a little lighter a little pinky watermelon e than the matte lip i think it's really really fun from makeup by mario we have one of their lip suede's um ultra suede yeah ultra suede cozy lip cream in the shade nude suede i just really love the cool toneness to this the paleness of this I just think that's a fun color. Then from She Glam, we have their Peel Talk Peel Talk Tint Lip. Does this peel off? I wonder if this is one of those. And look at that. We'll wipe that off in a little bit to see the stain. But initial color is really, really nice. Then we have two e.l.f. glossy lip stains. We have the shades Pinkies Up and cinnamon dream so let's swatch pinkies up first oh my gosh something gave my like hand a reaction what was there i'm gonna have to watch that back and see what irritated my skin on my hand i bet you it was the two-faced that's pinkies up right and this one is cinnamon dreams oh it's like a baby poop color okay from flower nose we have what is the oop don't know how to read that but i think this is one of those kind of yeah it's like a sheer lip cream somehow like that cloudy the cloud pouch type of lip if that made sense then from Give, what is this? From Give Beauty, we have the Extra Sauce. Extra Sauce is what this is called in the shade Original Recipe. I think this is also like the Maybelline Vital Lip Inks. Beautiful. Beautiful red. Liquid lip. And look at that orange. That's so nice. This is the shade Alluring from Huda Beauty. L'Oreal Infallible in the shade fairy tale ending beautiful pinky beautiful pinky nude really like the colors on these i really need to wear some of these then from nyx we have their matte lip cream in the shade laundry day 
Beautiful, beautiful nude. From Huda Beauty, we have one of their lip blushes in the shade Apricot Kiss. I don't know how I feel about this on the lips or on the cheek. So I don't know what drawer I want to keep it in yet. That is like a very yellow tone orange. Then from Kaja Beauty, don't let the cheesiness of this packaging fool you. These are delicious. These are their Love Swipes, and this is in the shade I'm Melting. These are so... And honestly, they're not like a matte lip. They are a little glossy, but I just, I really cannot hold any more glosses in that drawer, okay? Beautiful shades, beautiful sheerness to them, beautiful color. Ugh, really love, love these. I think Kaja does their lip stuff really well. And this is in the shade Swipe Right. So this warmer tone is in the shade Swipe Right super super beautiful now i believe it was last year where ulta beauty had the about face um liquid lipsticks on their 21 days of beauty so i picked up a bunch and these are the only ones that i kept after doing that haul um and i don't think this formula is my favorite this one is the shade canyon on fire then we have the shade not your baby I just feel like the colors are a little off for me. And then this one is in Sad Song. Jeez, I'm sorry. Just like, I just don't know about just odd shades, in my opinion. And then lastly, we have these Kaleidos Cloud Paints. Are they called Cloud Paints? Sorry, Cloud Lip Clay. Cloud Lab Lip Clay. So let's go ahead and swatch these. This is in the shade North. Start going over here. That's the shade North. Pink Himalayan is what we're swatching next. I like this one a lot. Very pretty. This one is in the shade Tundra. Kind of a pukey brown shade. And then lastly, we have the shade Echo Valley. Oh. And that's even cooler toned than the pink Himalayan and deeper. Okay, I made a couple of last, I made a, okay, so I made a purchase of a couple more lipsticks. So let's go through these. First from Nabla, these are their Beyond Jelly Sheer Lipsticks. I have the shell Luz, L-U-Z. I've been thinking about these ever since I saw them launch a couple months ago. Super, super pretty, very balmy, kind of grips onto your lips really like the shade really love the packaging so happy that i picked it up it's a little taller like look at next to the l'oreal they're pretty tall then from l'oreal these are the glow paradise lipsticks things glossy lipstick things um i think like i mentioned these earlier i think these are the new version of these so i don't know i might get rid of those because i don't think they're available anymore but we have the shades we have the shades new to heaven and luminous coral so let's go ahead and swatch these this is new to heaven very beautiful and this is the shade luminous coral this fun little lipstick from isamea this is their lady kiss Diamond Lip Glow in the shade Outlaw. Packaging is just insane and the lipstick is even crazier. Look at that. It's like a multi-chrome metallic lipstick, but it's actually way more wearable than I thought it was going to be. Like it doesn't look, like it doesn't look bad on the lips at all and I'm so surprised by that. Then I picked up a new REM Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Bubbly. I... I don't know, I was just on a rampage to find my perfect nude lip. Very pretty, a little pinkier maybe than I would like, but still really pretty. Pinky nude, I really like it. Now this one though, I picked up a Dior lipstick. <laughs> this is in the shade 220. I just, I think this might be one of my best nudes that I have in my collection. I mean, look at that. Not too, not too pink. Just the perfect nudie pink, and it looks so good on my skin tone. Then lastly, I picked up another Denhasha Denona lipstick. This is in the shade Beatrice. Pretty similar to the one I already have that is in the shade Natasha. I will swatch that for you next to this, so you can just see the difference. I feel like this one's a little bit more pinky. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. So let's see the difference. Very, very subtle. Very subtle. Did I need both? No. As you can see, I have everything in different drawers. I'm really happy to have a drawer unit that holds all my lipsticks. So here is another drawer that holds a lot of my lip glosses, lip balms, lip plumpers. Then another drawer we have even more glosses and a couple of lip treatments. And then this is the last drawer that I have. We have my matte liquid lipsticks and then even more glosses. So thank you so much for watching my lipstick collection video. I enjoy collection videos. I love watching swatch videos, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. And before you go, check out my socials down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.